From 850 to 1250 AD, Chaco Canyon appears to have been a central area for the Puebloan people. The massive buildings of the ancestral Puebloan people still testify to the organizational and engineering abilities not seen anywhere else in the American Southwest. For all the beauty of the Chaco Canyon's high desert landscape, it would have been a difficult place to survive with its long winters, short growing seasons, and marginal rainfall. Yet this valley was the center of a thriving culture a thousand years ago. The monumental scale of its architecture, the complexity of its community life, the high level of its community social organization, and its far-reaching commerce created a cultural vision unlike any other seen before or since. The massive stone buildings of the ancestral Puebloan people, also known as Great Houses, still testify to the organizational and engineering abilities not seen anywhere else in the American Southwest. These Great Houses were often multiple stories containing hundreds of rooms. Each room appears to have great significance and use, such as the structures called kivas. Chacoan kivas have formal features like fire pits, floor vaults, wind deflectors, and benches, and contain evidence of domestic as well as ritual life. Kivas come in all sizes. The largest are called Great Kivas. Great Kivas are assumed to have housed community level activities, whether ceremonial, social, or political. Small Kivas are sometimes called Clan Kivas and suggest use by small kin-based family groups. Construction on some of the buildings in this canyon spanned decades and even centuries. Although each is unique, all great houses share architectural features that make them recognizable as Chacoan. Lines of sight between the great houses allowed communication. The buildings were placed within a landscape surrounded by sacred mountains, mesas, and shrines that still have deep spiritual meaning for their descendants. It's amazing. All the little rocks. Huh? Hundreds and thousands of little bitty rocks you used to. Oh, yeah. These walls are, these walls are thick. Yeah. And look what's holding up above this doorway. Mm-hmm. What is this, arrow? I bet they didn't have an obesity problem. would be a kiva. Several kivas. Isn't this nice?
the roof would be made of like I think they said mud and dirt yeah. and then in the middle would be a ladder to go down into the kiva and those are the seating by 1050 AD Chaco had become the ceremonial administrative and economic center of the San Juan Basin Dozens of great houses in Chaco Canyon were connected by roads to more than 150 great houses throughout the region. It is thought that the great houses were not traditional farming villages occupied by large populations. They may instead have been impressive examples of public architecture that were used periodically during times of ceremony, commerce, and trading when temporary populations came to the canyon for these events. In the 1100s and 1200s, change came to Chaco as new construction slowed and Chaco's role as a regional center shifted. At some point in time, the people shifted away from Chaco and ways, migrated to new areas, reorganized their world, and eventually interacted with foreign cultures. For our visit, we drove the nine mile loop road, which accesses five major Chaco and great houses. We stopped and explored the Pueblo Bonito Great House, the Petroglyph Trail, and the Chetro Kettle Great House. Pueblo Bonito is considered to be the most important site in the canyon. It is the most thoroughly investigated and celebrated cultural site in Chaco Canyon. It is believed to have been planned and constructed in stages between AD 850 to AD 1150 by ancestral Puebloan peoples. The Petroglyph Trail is between Pueblo Bonito and Chetro Kettle. This trail includes numerous impressive petroglyphs or rock carvings. These carvings are believed to be powerful cultural symbols which reflect the complex societies and religions of the surrounding tribes. On the walls of the canyon, you will also notice numerous areas where it is believed the Chacoans sharpened their tools directly on the walls. You can still see the grooves or indentions in the wall today. That rock right there, does that not look like a lady with long hair looking out that direction with her leg kind of crocked and her hand on her hip? Like that? Yep, just like that. Post for me, Craig. No. <laughs> Doesn't it look like it? Yep. Craig will take a picture just in case you can't see in my camera because he can zoom in a little bit closer. No, it looks no, it looks like a woman to me that is just saying no. protect this land. The husband has walked up and said, Hey honey, I'm going fishing. Have you mowed the yard already? No, that's not what she said. She said, Okay, bye honey. <laughs> Don't hurry back. <laughs> wow. Your imagination's running a little wild. Yeah, my imagination's running wild. Mm -hmm. Chetro Kettle is the second largest Chacoan great house in the canyon. It covers more than three acres and contains a great kiva and elevated kivas. Oh wow.
Other great houses along the nine mile driving loop include Una Vida, Hungo Pavi, Casa Rinconada, and Pueblo del Arroyo. However, we were unable to explore these great houses during our visit. In addition to the ruins available for exploration just off the nine mile driving loop road, there are four backcountry hiking trails which access more remote sites and features. The backcountry trails provide spectacular overlook views of Pueblo Bonino, Chetro Kettle, and King Clitzo, enters Pueblo Alto and New Alto, passes by Chacoan stairways, ramps, and roads, and affords panoramic views of the San Juan Basin. One of our last stops was to admire the Chacoan staircase. This staircase was part of a road system which linked the great houses in the canyon to far off communities. As its name implies, Chaco Culture National Historical Park includes more than just Chaco Canyon. While Chaco and culture was centered within the canyon with its spectacular great houses and dense concentration of monumental architecture, Chaco and influence extended much farther throughout the San Juan Basin and even a bit beyond. The whole region contains outlying great houses which show many of the same features as the great houses in Chaco Canyon, though generally on a smaller scale. These outlying great houses and the great kivas and communities of small house sites with which they are usually associated show clear evidence of the spread of the Chacoan system throughout a remarkably wide area. This National Historic Park is a true treasure. We would suggest planning for a couple of days to give yourself time to explore the entire park. The park has camping accommodations available and had they had any openings during our trip, we would have stayed among these ancient ruins for a few nights. This park is a definite must visit if you have any interest at all in ancient cultures and structures. The road to and from the park is long, rough, and slow, but the reward is worth the journey.